Hello everyone, today we're diving into the interesting world of machine learning, or ML for short. Now ML is a part of artificial intelligence where computers are set up to learn from data. But what does that really mean? Let's explore. First, let's talk about how it works. Imagine teaching a child to recognise different animals. You don't give them a set of strict instructions. Instead, you show them pictures and let them figure it out by recognising patterns. Machine learning is quite similar. Now pattern recognition, this is where machine learning systems detect patterns in data rather than following specific instructions. In terms of decision making, these patterns help computers make decisions or predictions without humans intervening. The key concept here is that ML enables computers to improve their performance and adapt over time by learning from data, not by direct programming. It's like having a computer that gets smarter the more it learns. There are three main types of machine learning. There's supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning. In supervised learning, the computer is trained using data that's already labeled. Think of a teaching a computer to differentiate between cats and dogs by showing it labeled pictures of each. The computer uses these labels to learn and identify the images correctly. With unsupervised learning, the computer is given data but not told what to do with it. It must figure out patterns and structures on its own. For example, it might group customers by similar buying behaviours without being given a predefined category. Now, in reinforcement learning, this method teaches the computer to make a series of decisions. It learns by trial and error, receiving rewards for good decisions and penalties for bad ones. Imagine a robot navigating a maze earning points for finding the right path and losing points for hitting dead ends. Now let's talk about the importance of data in machine learning. The better the data in terms of quality, quantity and diversity, the more accurately and effectively an ML model can operate. So when we talk about quality of data, we're talking about the accuracy, the relevance and the completeness of the data. So when we talk about accuracy, errors in data lead to incorrect predictions. When we talk about relevance, data must be relevant to the specific task and completeness, incomplete data can mislead the model. When we talk about quantity of data, what we're saying is that the more data that we allow the model to understand, the better it will be at predicting accurately. And diversity of data is so important as it ensures that AI models perform well across various scenarios and conditions, not just the ones that we were specifically training it on. Now lastly, where does all this data come from? Well, there are several sources. We can feed our machines data from sensors providing real-time environmental data. We can feed our machines user inputs which reflect user preferences and behaviours. We can feed these machines data from databases offering historical insights for predictions and also data from online activities, helping to better understand user interactions and trends. So in conclusion, machine learning is revolutionising the way that we interact with technology. And by understanding and using data, we can create smarter systems that adapt and improve over time. So the next time you use a smart device, remember the incredible power of machine learning working behind the scenes. Thank you for joining me today. Keep exploring, stay curious, and embrace the future of smart technology.